Now, Rugby League Nines action also took place yesterday. The medals uh, were up for grabs in the bronze. It was Fiji versus Tonga. Let's take a look at that. Just finding out which way they're going to play and the team sheets that we were handed uh, a couple of days ago has changed with the Fijians and their jerseys and so we try and get a copy of exactly who is where. I know that Lindua, one of their players, is in jersey 14. We've hit him down in jersey 11 over the day and a half. So apologies to the good people in Fiji. The bronze medal match for 2015 here and the Rugby League Nines is underway. Fiji with first possession. Walui into the tackle of No. First tackle still inside their own half and now they just try and play through their sets. Good, strong, aggressive. No nonsense run there. Up and over the advantage line from the dummy half. Good running there from Nemo. Arthur as they get it wide and the flying orange boots of Dokoni. Dokoni gets rid of the first and the second holds on offloads and Nangitawa scores Fiji's try in the opening 40 seconds and let me just repeat perhaps Tonga put too much into the challenge and not tackling. I've heard that before but that was magnificent play. The opening sequence of this important bronze medal final and Fiji could not have started in a better way. Great football. Good reward for the Fijians being positive, being aggressive and direct. They'll have to wait because still waiting the conversion to see whether they can take the lead out to six points. Conversion is over. And so Fiji leads 6-0. Tonga after kicking the ball off now get their first set of six and immediately they push it out to Tiasina. Tiasina close to the sideline and that's just possession given away schoolboy error from Tonga gets out and skips out of the first tackle into the context standing tall not held and so off loads here comes Raiwa Louis two of the Tongan players are down now Tonga down to seven as they try to get their way back into play. They've got a full complement of Fijian standing out to the right, but Lindua, 29 year old, just crashes up. Good run from Imathawa. Wasn't held and they've got up and they've given it to Dokoni again. Dokoni, he was distributor in the first try, now he's provider in the second. Got a lovely offload earlier on. And that is two tries to Fiji in the space of two minutes. Oh, that's not the start that Tonga wanted. Had two players down, so the space was always out wide. But Dakoni had about three or four tacklers who couldn't put him over, couldn't put him down. Great effort, but, you know, Tonga, they just need to regroup and come back. a try fest here in the bronze medal match between Tonga in the red and Fiji with sport of nines no kickoff after tries have been scored it's a restart from the half not much of a net gain there for Murphy they pick and go through no no with a lovely little offload and the knock on from Javier Tonga guilty of not holding on to the position and they're not going through their sets. No, especially when you're two tries down. You think, yeah, I finally got the ball. Let's just try and build up, but uh, yeah, wasting opportunities. First time they had position, they came down the right hand flank. Tiasina made 30 metres and then threw the ball to the Fijians. And here we go again. Third time that Fiji are in position of the ball in the half and they break away easily. Nangaitawa. Nangaitawa, it's a foot race. He's too quick. They won't get him. Nagitawa scores, Fiji's third. Oh, so easy. Tonga have got to do something about the defence. They had him marked, missed the tackle. 
And Nungi Tower just accelerated. Put on the afterburners. Just too quick, but Tonga, I don't know what's happened. They've just uh, let in three reasonably easy tries in the space of six minutes. Nungi Tower scored the first. And then was involved again to pick up the third, his second of the match. Just over halfway in the first half. Tonga now have possession. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball for more than one tackle. They've got to come back. Murphy again to cart it forward. Good six or seven metres to win the tackle. And they slow it down so that the defence gets back on side and offload here. Just cart it forward. Then one the offload or the pass. Just try and build some momentum here. You're in possession of the ball. Quick offload. Again, a lovely pass here to Falau. Bruce Falau, just outside the 20 of oh, Fiji running across. And now the offload. Here's a chance for Tonga. Quick hands will do it. They've got it out wide. The strength and the power of Fia Fia. The tank driver goes over again. <laughs> the tank driver. That's all Tonga have to do. Hold the ball. Get it out wide. Rely on the good players. Fia Fia. First opportunity. Hold the ball, Tonga. Samuela Fia Fia from the Moor Saints club in Tonga. Put down on his stat sheet that he's a tank driver. And he's bollocking and scoring tries like he is a tank. His fourth here of the Pacific Games. Three tacklers in for Tonga to slow things down. And a mistake here from the Fijians bringing Tonga back into the game. They can play it here, Tonga. Uh, Sariri wanted to carry on with things. Maybe he can just get involved in some defense here as opposed to trying to referee the game. Waka Utakakala. There's the ball quickly out is no. The offload here into Suluka. Second, they just need to hold on to possession, Tonga. Build some phases, try and move the ball into the midfield where Falau is. Falau can't get rid of the defender here. Three tackles. Tonga weaving a bit of magic, and it's Murphy on the inside. That's not Murphy, that's Far. Mistake here, it's off the foot. So, Plowin, here is Murphy. You won't be distinct or make a mistake about Murphy with the head stop. That's off the arm of the Fijian and backwards. Six more, so it's been played out. Tonga in a very good field position. Patience needed here from Tonga. They've got plenty of time and plenty of tackles up the sleeve into the contact for the first a swinging arm there. You can hear the reaction from the crowd. And the penalty here. It's been boiling for a wee while now. Big Johnny Sariri in 15 didn't need to come in and get involved. You can see there, Vakau Takakala taking exception to the treatment here. He's calling out Falau. Falau, he's not listening. Well, he doesn't speak English. Now the referee's right. We're here to play footy. Let me get out of your road and then you can tap it. Wait, mate. Wait, wait. Everyone's the ref's mate at the moment. It's mate, 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 mate. He must From be an referee. Aussie. He must be an Aussie. Well, there comes Murphy. Look at this. 
This has put a bit of spice into the game now. Murphy carries the ball forward. Six tackles for the Tongans. Here they come again. Quickly up in the defensive line. Other Fijians. Tonga also close. Tonga over. Has he got it down? No, says the referee. Tackle two. They go again. They've got players out wide. Palau comes on a short ball. Good tackle. Great tackle from Sivok. Had to be made. It was looking dangerous for the Tongans. 14-4. Do they go wide? No, they don't. The pick can go from the dummy half position. Hold on. That's fifth and final. The pick and go. He's lost it backwards. They pick up and go again. The referee says it's lost forward. Oh, Tonga. They had numbers out to the left. Four against two. They just had to transfer the ball wide rather than trying to go up the middle. There is Viliami Tupo with the mummy band. Wrapped around the head, so an earlier clash. And a couple of the Fijian players here involved in the tackle close to the line. may have heard that through the referee's microphone just telling the Tongans that we're here to play footy not fight the boxing starts in the indoor arena in a couple of days time let's just have a look might be able to pick up where the injury occurred here is Tupo oh. and he said it's just a head clash two of the Fijian defenders getting their head in the wrong position and Medics now make their way out onto the pitch. It's been a good half oh, of Rugby League Nines. It has been exciting. Exceptionally intense. Both sides committed. The beautiful game of Rugby League and the impact that Pacific Islanders have had, in particular these two nations. You think of Fiji and great players, Lottie Tingiri, Petro Sivanasiva. And Sisa Wanga, three that come to mind. And then you look at the Tongans that have come through. I'll throw a couple of names out for you, Mark. Dwayne Mann. Yep. Willie Mason. Willie Tonga. Leslie Vinacolo. Tony Williams. Fui Fui Moi Moi. And Israel Falau. He did play rugby league, didn't he? But uh, you're right. I think, as I said a little bit earlier, 36% of the NRL is made up of Pacific and Islander players. And they've got a lot of skill. Wouldn't you love a Tongan team at the national level if they could get some of those players? Falau Vinacolo was unbelievable. <laughs> Fiji with possession and as the siren sounds, referee says that's time. And Fiji lead three tries to one. Yeah. 14 points to four. Oh, Fiji were too good in the opening four or five minutes, scoring three tries. Tonga just seemed uh, a bit lackadaisical. Their defence wasn't there. Uh, Fiji went through the holes far too easily. Uh, and this is a lead you know, with, with only nine minutes uh, in, in, in the game left. Can they come back? They need to regather. They need to play, take the ball up. They need to hold on to possession if they're going to get back into this game. There, the message from Taufa Fokafaka, coach of the Tongan side, and referred to as the Matama, which is never say die translated. And they're going to have to show some of that spirit in the second half to come back. 10-point deficit. Great play from Fiji, though. They've taken their opportunities, and that's what finals footy, that's what bronze medal matches is all about. Oh, certainly. You can't miss any opportunities. And uh, I'm a little surprised they were easy. Tonga let them through uh, to score those three tries. So they have to come back 
Uh, Fiji, if they score first, they're going to be then difficult uh, to pick back. Was basically giving possession away. They got their first set of six. They came down the right-hand flank, and then Tiasino, who's been one of their better players too, just threw the ball, the miracle ball, in field and gave possession back to Fiji. From that set, they scored another try. The Tonga were automatically ten points behind the game. Against a side like Fiji, with so many natural runners, you can't afford to throw a 50-50 pass. A hail Mary, you actually have act, got to ensure that you that control the football and build the pressure rather than trying to get a 50 50 chance. There is a one of the supporters, one of the many supporters here. You can see the beautiful islands of Fiji. Of course, in four years' time, it will be Tonga hosting the Pacific Games of. 2019. I know that they've had the Minister of Sport for Tonga has been in Papua New Guinea. A number of other dignitaries have been out here having a look at the facilities and if they can mirror what Papua New Guinea have produced uh, this year, it certainly will be something very, very special. But that is at hand. What they can control is the next nine minutes. Bronze medal up for grabs in the next nine minutes as Fiji start the game. Down to Javier, Sydney Javier straight into the defensive line. First tackle. Oh, once again, another mistake from a big tackle that's come in from Fiji. Lendua putting a hit on and you haven't even finished the second tackle and there's another oh, mistake that that is cruel little mistake elementary mistakes like that can make the difference between winning and losing well if Fiji score here that hill that they were going to climb the Tongans just turned into a mountain as the offload comes again and there's a mistake from Fiji so both sides in the second half need to just calm down and play nines rugby league instead of trying to play the razzle dazzle of scoring at the first opportunity. Yeah. There they go. That's a better play from Tonga. Just use the big players that are there. Murphy needs to just call for the ball and get his hands on it and just carry it. Be strong in the tackle there. Good defense. Javier carries. Here comes Murphy now. Burn to the ball and all tackle. Sitting in two defenders. The Fijians putting the shoulder to the wheel there. Pick and go again through. No. Here comes Tessina, the offload. No. No, just the defender, one defender in front of him. Holding the ball out in front in two hands. Now they're inside the Fiji in 20 with two tackles left. They tap and go. Tonga, real opportunity here. That pass needed to go to hand. And that one's gone along the carpet as well. Into Fia Fia. Eight out, last tackle. What can Tonga do here? Is it the grubber kick? Is it the power play? They get it here into the midfield. A quick hands here. They've got another player on the outside. They've got to release it. That's gone forward, surely. And a disappointing end again for the Tongans in a very good attacking position. That pass there didn't need to be thrown. No, it didn't need to be. The first four tackles were played perfectly. The fifth was a little dodgy but then on the sixth play that was a terrible pass just giving the ball back to Fiji yeah, for Fiji is the corner provider on a number of the tries scored one himself and the Fijians in no hurry at all to play the ball here the clock is very much their friend they'll try and play up this set of six get themselves into a good field position and then kick and ask questions of the Tongans if they don't break through beforehand show and tackle there that's three better defense from the men in red the double pump and then the offload good strong run there from Nigel Nemathawa four they've got to get off to make sure that they don't give a penalty here 
after defending so well the Tongans tackle five here by the Fijians working the play down that left hand flank the inside pass players available they try and wrap up ball and all fifth and final they've gone 60 odd meters watch the Fijians now will it be the grubber along the ground or the up and under or will they just move it through the hands now into the hands of Dokini not held so it goes on great line there Dokini supports again is this the fourth try for Fiji turnover great defense from Tonga they've been put to the pump and they've responded brilliantly oh yeah great certainly great defense from Tonga but also great attack they come 90 meters in six tackles that was a great effort great attack and great defense Tiasina making sure that he was between the ball and the in goal area that's smart play he's been impressive over the last two days for Tonga one of the better players picks and goes does Suluka Sosefo Suluka the fireman from Nukalofa trying to put the fire out here in PNG 3rd tackle for the Tongans now here they come decoy runners but they use the player in behind and now some pace out here Tupo Tupo takes a little bit of time to wind up in the tackle of Ravovo here they come Murphy look for the short ball but now they look to try and take it down this left hand flank here is Fear Fear breaks the first Fear Fear breaks the second the offload here is Falau tackle came in Falau's not held and Falau's going to score Tonga are back Oh, great work from Fear Fear. Took that ball across the field and giving it to Falau, who just never gave up the score the try, the important second try for Tonga. Good work. They're still in this game. All important kick is over. 14 place 10. A try will bring them back level. A converted try will give them the lead for the first time in the match. Fiji, the defending champions of 2007, won gold. The Cook Islands, silver, Samoa, bronze. Rugby League Nine's not played in 2011, and so here, the call for Tonga goes up as the big man just charges forward. Now they look to try and find another player in Saridi, the offload, Bali. Bali with a little bit of footwork and then gets it out to Luto Mailangi. They've got a wide here. Here is the Rokoni. Look at the Tongans now flying in. Two three man tackles. Fia Fia involved in it. Two tackles. They've still got four to play with. They just need to show some patience here, Fiji. Good carry again from big 118k forward along the chain for Fiji. That's the third tackle. The pop and pass. That ball didn't need to really be thrown. Oh, to speculate up. They should have held the ball. They've got time on their side. Play the six. Don't throw 50 50 passes. And that's the message that obviously was given to the Tongan team. They need to hold on to the ball here, especially in the red zone inside their own half. Work your way up the field and then look to finish with a kick on the sixth. Now the Tongans looking to get some go forward. Big hit coming in there from Lindua. Outside in. Played again. Three tackles down. There's a big gap through the middle. As the Tongans now look to move it out wide. Falau is there on the inside pass. Inside the 20 and they've lost oh. it cold. And Fiji come up with the ball. Real opportunity for the Tongans there. At zero and they've kicked it away. That's not a smart play from the Fijians on the first. Now just take it forward and swerves one, the other. That's a pass that didn't be thrown either. And so both teams just need to calm down the pick and go. Is he onside? Can he hold on to the ball this time? Yes, he can. Gets rid of the smaller defender. Tonga are back in the game and they've tied it up. Vakaru Takakala, the 32-year-old has drawn level with oh, Fiji. They're back. Tonga's back. What a great run. Two or three defenders. He's such a big man. Palmed off, but still had the strength to get across the line. 
to get Tonga back into this game. Well, he's gone from villain to hero because he was the man that coughed it up, and it was the kick by one of the Fijian players that handed possession back to the Tongans. One tackle laid up. It was Hakau Takakala. And Tonga take the lead for the first time. There's still time to play. Unbelievable. Well, they're celebrating like it's over, but Fiji have possession. And they've got 15 seconds on the clock. Still time to play. Fiji in possession. 16-14. Now the Tongans swarm in. The siren due to sound any second now. Fiji, the gold medalist. They've kicked. That is the bronze medal gone. Tonga will hold on to possession. And Tonga will win bronze in Papua New Guinea 2015. They've come back from the dead. And there is what it means to the hosts of 2019. What were Fiji thinking will be the question many will be asking. But for the Mate Ma, never say die Tongans. It is a bronze medal. Oh, that is unbelievable. What a comeback in the second half. I thought the game was over at half time. Fiji were up three tries to one. They had the game well and truly in the bag. But Tonga, to their credit, kept coming back. Some lax play from Fiji in the end, but congratulations, Tonga. Uh, one of the beautiful things about the Pacific Games is the camaraderie and the brotherhood of the sport of rugby league a tremendous game from both teams it's physical it's tough if you don't like big hits whether you're receiving or giving you're in the wrong code but once it's done and dusted after the 18 minutes this is what it's all about is the respect of the warriors that were out there for the entire match tremendous game of nines rugby league tonga getting the job done here for the bronze medal they have beaten Fiji by 16 points to 14.